The following program is intended for mature audiences. In this episode of the Truth Be Told podcast, Schoolboy Q defends Lil Pump. Twisted and Ski Mask God have a fast rap battle. Big Crit is going to release a double album later this month. And we review albums from Trippy Red, Lil Pump, and Belly. Now let's get into this artistic ignorance with your boy Barry Ross and Infidel Castro. You're now listening to the Truth Be Told podcast from Trillmatic.com. Trillmatic.com. One gotta go. DJ Paul and Juicy J. You son of a bitch. UGK. You motherfucker. Outcast. A ball and MJG. What the fuck? One gotta go. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. Oh my god. Yeah. One gotta go. Jesus. DJ Paul, Juicy J, UGK, UGK, A Ball, MJG, A Ball, MJG, A Ball, MJG, Outcast. Oh my God! Memphis, to go. Orange Mound, Port Arthur, ATL. One gotta go. Ah! <laughs> I'm, listen, let me let me tell y'all something. This is true. This is this is our era right here. Oh my! So I know Shrew's gonna have a hard time. Yeah. But I also know I that. Plead the fifth. <laughs> I plead the fifth. One, one guy get the fuck up out of there. Ooh, shit. One guy get the fuck up out of there. My my fucking head hurts now. You took your hat off? Shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, you know who's staying off top. So let's hear who's you staying. You know who's staying off top. Let's hear who's staying. Oh, DJ Pond Juicy J. DJ Pond Juicy J staying. Okay. Off top. All right, all right. Off top. All right. Who else is staying? You got UGK left, Outcast, and you got A Ball and MJG. UGK staying off top. UGK staying. Takes his boys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Outcast and MJG is left. One got to go. This is where it gets tricky. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, Outcast and MJG. I will have to say. This is bad. I can't believe you've done this to me. <laughs> but uh, I'm sorry, Outcast. <laughs> Avon MJG are staying. Oh shit! And Outcast, uh, it hurts so bad. Holy fuck! It hurts so bad. God, dog. I went with two Memphises. <laughs> dog, two I got my head on top of my head. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Right. Oh, shit. So, he says Outcast got to go. I'm not taking it back. I can't. I can't. All right. You're a real one. You're a real one. I'm just sticking to it. I'm sorry, Andre and Um, I really am. Damn. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, man. uh, UGK and Outcast is is definitely staying for me. Uh, Between DJ Paul and Juicy J and (laughs) A-Ball and MJG. Uh shit. Uh, it's hard for you. It's real hard. It's really hard. They're both that, that Tennessee right. that Tennessee rap. I almost Yeah, I but almost see went, like I almost took out one Tennessee, but I said no, I'm sticking with him. I think I think A Ball and MJG gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. That was almost the one I did, but I was uh, like staying. First off, let me hear why let me hear why you chose Outcast. Is that is that they gotta go. Why 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 do you choose them? To me, yourself. To, to me, <laughs> to me, I have to say in reverse. I have to tell you why I picked Eight Ball and MJG. Okay, over, over Outcast. Outcast. Okay, that's cool. I picked Eight Ball and MJG because they were more my style, like like gangster with it. You know, they they were more hood. Where I don't know, just they 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 had that pimp rap, that shit that I don't know. They 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 were they were hitting on all the I don't know that it's that Memphis rap, man. 
They're they Texas, were from Orange. Right? They were I mean, from Orange. Tennessee, 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 right. Tennessee, Tennessee, yeah. Tennessee, 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 Tennessee. <laughs> uh, no, that Tennessee rap. Right. I mean, yeah, the Orange Man and that man. That was, Three Six also had that Orange Man with some other rappers. That right, right, right. Shit, but you know? they were mostly Memphis. Mif- Mif- but no, they were Memphis. Okay, so, yeah, they were Memphis Ten. But they had people that were from Orange Man that rapped. Right, right, of course, shit, of course. So. so I don't know. I, I I stuck with my with my Tennessee rappers. I say I picked them as having to go because out of all the people that have that have been on here, uh, I mean UGK and Outkast to me they're like the greatest duos of all time. Yeah, musically, rap wise, sonically, the the content. Oh, yeah. DJ Paul and Juicy J. <laughs> The beats was off the chain, yeah. and then the content was off the chain, just with like some of the drug raps and yeah, yeah. just being in the zone. Only- Crunk rap, all that. A ball of MJG though. I mean, in the early days, I wasn't really. I, I was into them a little bit. Like when A ball dropped the uh, what was it, the Swab House, Swab House, the, tri- the triple lo- Lost. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's when I first got into A ball. See, I was right. before that. See, yeah. I knew he was before that. So I, that's why I stuck with him because right. I, I, I was exposed to him. I was listening to him. From the outside looking in, right, right. See, by MJ, I L- heard all that Space later. Age pimping, yeah, like, I, man. I, I, I was, heard all that later. See, I was on that shit from the get go. I'm my older brother, you know what I'm saying? So right, was, right. So old, on, your older brother was, on, was a G, and I was on the old head shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to my brother. Shout out, shout out to the to the brother. Uh, I, but and you know, a, a ball of MJG did have that that second run. When the South was popping and yeah, they were Bad Boy South, Bad Boy South, yeah, that they had a, a dope ass second run there when they, they did, did that. They killed uh, that shit. They really did. They really did because that album was fire. Fuck yeah, it was, that fire. was fire. You don't mm-hmm. want it. <laughs> right. yeah. like, no. Don't make, don't make me kill, kill, yeah. kill. So motherfucking body in mm-hmm. here, in mm-hmm. here. Yeah. I'ma shoot, I'ma Man. shoot three shots, three shots. Somebody to make me hot. Man, you got me killer. fucked up. Hey, nah, that shit killer. was that they, shit was fine. That whole album was dope. That whole album was dope. But I mean, when you talk about like the whole, when you talk about the whole discography, yeah, I feel it. I, I three feel six, my- UGK and Outkast got more. You know what I'm saying? Like hard hitters yeah, in, the, yeah. in their full discography over their full well, careers. I think, I think what hurt A Bon MJG is that. They, they didn't have that push that they that the other ones had with you know Swap House didn't really and it didn't have the exact same push and it also right because they were kind of they were, they were more underground they were a little bit more underground right. and they I, th- I think they were more exposed people thought they were coming out for the first time when they would that second run with Bad Boy some people were like oh who are these guys never had heard but no but see like everybody that was listening to Southern music knew, knew like what yeah, the fuck knew. was going yeah, on we knew Right, but people around other places that might have not known. You know right, what I'm right. From West Coast, maybe not sure. everybody. Some people knew, it but they came out when they, they they that was they need that that came out when it needed to because it was the South that was popping. It was like, dog, we need them. We back. don't care what you what you're doing. You got to have a ball MJG in here. Somewhere I'm pretty sure everybody got yeah. behind them. Was like, fuck that. They're legends. Put them out. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then they came out with some. Everybody great was shit. behind them. Even Ti was in the video. Fuck yeah. A lot of people was, had showed up in the video. People, yeah, you know what I'm just saying? to let you know that they know people. They we were grew up off of this. This yeah. is our what we what we. And, and you know, and I, I fucking I stuck with them because that's 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 my shit. I, like I said, I, I, I feel grew up, I grew up with listening to them, and I grew up with, and, and it hurts me because I don't want to let any of them go. Yeah, Honestly, hey, I don't, I don't know how to. you can let. But at the go. same time, <laughs> I it, and this is very bold. If you had to say only one, you can only stay with one. You know, it would be. Uh, mine's would be UGK and you know who I'd be yeah DJ Paul just UGK oh. sorry Outkast in this case if I had to choose between Outkast and UGK is UGK all fucking day yeah. Well, yeah. sorry UGK I love Outkast my second on that one right. but three, man, DJ yeah. Paul just three cents, yeah. I gotta stick with it right welcome back to the Truth Be Told podcast with your partner all right double left to the A Reefer and your partner B I G G U U what it do Trill Yarns What's the business Truth Be Told Podcast Back once again Episode 86 86 Right Woo. 86 we keep, we keep getting Engine closer and closer Oh that's, that number Just keeps getting 86 This is like a count. We should probably Start a countdown now Like we're at 14 away 14 away from the Big 100 Yeah From the big 100 done We'll, we'll start at 10 10 away Like normal right. people 10, 9, 8, 7 You know the countdown. You know it. Uh, for those of y'all that's tuned in for the first time, we hope you subscribe. 
on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, uh, pretty much wherever YouTube. you listen to your podcast, especially YouTube. Come, yes. come shout us out on YouTube. Hit the and, notification um, buttons. Be notified. Right, right. Uh, you can always go and support us at trillmag.com slash Patreon. Uh, show us a little love there. Yeah, um, we appreciate it. Right. Um, and the website is back up. Trimac.com is back up. I kind of updated it a little bit, y'all. So, um, it's a little bit more modern, a little bit more new, new age, I guess. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Made it a little, you know, just upgraded gotta, it a little gotta, bit. You got to do that every once in a while. You need, I, you I haven't a, done it in a long time, yeah, too. It's been awesome. like probably four or five years. So, yeah. So every once in a while, you got to, you got to retouch it up, you know. Yeah. People, people get tattoos. What do they got to do? They got to touch it up every once in a while. Do they? Yeah. I don't got any tattoos, so I don't. I don't either, but I do know because I know people who got that too. Right, right. You know some people, but you didn't. Know I didn't know that they do that. I don't know the tattoo culture like that. Well, my brother and my dad both have them, so I know. Right, right. You, you do got to touch them up every once <laughs> in a while. Real niggas. It's just that that sunlight exposure and everything, and then if it's in an area where you move a lot, you know, what I'm saying it wears it down and it kind of makes it. Like spread, spread or, like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, like stretch out a little. Man. Hey, cocoa butter line, baby. So then you just read what you're doing. They'll do the line back in. Yeah, coke, you ain't lying. If right, you right. stay, well, your skin does kind of expand, I guess. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. but anyways, right, yeah. right. We are back though, man. Uh, we just got finished watching the Star Wars trailer. Man, hold up. You're not really a big. You're not really a super, not super, big, super, I'm not, I'm super not, Star not, Wars. Yeah, fan. I'm not a super fan, but I, right. I do. I enjoy like I mean I do know I haven't watched a lot of the, old, the newer ones I mean right. I, I'm I'm a being a, the old head that I am you know right. I enjoyed watching the old ones but they're just you know they're so distant long time ago that right, I, right. I don't even remember them honestly With that them. first set of new ones when they came out episode one two and three they yeah. weren't all that great episode that's what three I heard being too, probably the better on, one yeah turn me out to watching it because everybody well, told me that I think at the time period everybody was was excited about it but I, th- I just think that it just didn't it didn't age well you know what I'm saying yeah. it was just like when you go back to revisit you're like this wasn't all that great it's supposed you know to be part one two and three you know how they kind of right, right. you know go back and you know, right. prequel it's movies. just kind of weird too because you know back then they didn't have all the, the CG and then but this they brought all the CG and it's, it's like, supposed oh. to be older, but it looks it looks so way newer, it is. way fresh and shit. But clear. these newer ones that came out the seven, eight, and nine, yeah, those uh, which aren't really necessarily seven, eight, and nine, but those newer ones that came out these these are pretty fucking raw. And this new trailer looks pretty good. So yeah, it looks good. I always I always know I know they they're good movies. I just haven't checked them out yet. Right, right. And then there was yeah, also the trailer to the Justice League, which is right up right up your alley as a DC head. How do you now, feel about that new trailer, now, man? Now this I can talk about. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking my language. All right, right. No, really. Uh, I liked it. You know, they 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 brought back Superman just to, for a little bit, a little tease, a little tease, yeah. and then it's like, oh, he, he he's actually not there. Now he's he's it's still a dream. dead. It's, it's a dream. He's still dead. He's not there. Yeah. Dream sequence. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> dream Those dream sequence. sequence be fucking up everybody, yeah, man. Dude, like, you know oh what my saying? god. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So like, fuck. Fucking dream. Sometimes they'll put a, a dream sequence in the trailer, making it seem like it's the real thing. And then when you watch the movie, it was just a dream sequence. It's like, yeah. what the fuck? Played all of us. Like, what the hell? No. Yeah, yeah. But no, nah, overall, that shit, it should look good. I it think look, it looks it good look too, really man. good. I mean, they still keep their dark look, you know, right. but, you know, it has some colors in there. You know, Joss Whedon took over, so it's like, he, I'm sure he's Well, I don't like, think he directed. Well, Did he? He, well, he took I think over. He's kind of overseen. Zach, well, he took over for Zack Snyder for the last part of it, like some of the last. Oh, for shooting. real? Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, I didn't know. And 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 also those y- just the end of it. Those y'all that don't know, Josh Whedon directed Avengers, both the Avengers movies. Oh. So this might be a good look. Yeah, so, we'll see how that rolls. I think also Buffy the Vampire Slayer, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw that in there. That's the only thing people knew him from before that. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody's like, he's a great director. I'm like, of what? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, I guess. You know. yeah. But I mean, he did good with the Avengers. Yeah, he, he did. did so. It, so he should so, smooth I mean, out issues with the Justice League. It doesn't. It definitely looked good, and I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna. They're gonna. Do, no pun intended, but they're gonna do it justice, right? I believe yeah. they're gonna do it justice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm sure they are. This is. Are they gonna bring Green Lantern in? I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know. There's a lot of it's speculation of people saying maybe at the end or this right. and that. They but might. They might. I think they already. Ma- they already basically have shown that they're gonna talk about it. Right. Where you know Steppenwolf says, you know, y'all have no lanterns, no right. Plutonian. Like, right. By saying right. that, you know, it's that's the tease in itself. That that might be all we get. Right. But yeah, we, who knows? Yeah. Either way, it looks good. Right. Uh, it's going to be the last. I believe it's the last trailer we get. Oh yeah. If and if it's not one more, but still, I, I think that's it. I and, think that's it too. I and, think it's the final trailer. 
Yeah, we don't need no more, honestly. Yeah, we, we really, really don't. don't, man. But you know what's going to be crazy? Gonna they're going to make away. Aquaman. They're go, they, uh, he's going to be the most like person. Yeah, yeah, he's going to be the most like person. I can yeah. already see that. I can see that too. See. He's got the most personality. Is he going to be? He's got the most character. Is he going to have the best fight sequence? He might. I think he's, he's had some dope sequences in the in the, the trailers. trailers. Yeah, I think yeah. I think they're going to make him. I think they're, they're they're making sure that he comes out. Raw, you know what I'm saying? Just because nobody likes fucking Aquaman, and, it, and it's also in the line for his movie coming up. You know, like they right. have it, they're gonna be doing it. So, yeah. Well, you know, shout out to Justice League, shout out to DC. <laughs> this week in Boom Trap, your boy, uh, your your corporate, your corporation, Bizoy. Bring it. <laughs> Bring your it. Conglomerate, Bizoy. Conglomerate, billboard. <laughs> I said it like a real person. Billboard. No, YouTube. Uh, for Your those that don't billboard. know, right? <laughs> Your buddy Billboard. Right. Uh, yeah. No, uh, Billboard recently came out, or there's a rumor going around that uh-huh. YouTube streams may be added to Billboard's. You know, the pretty much the final the numbers. Tallies. The tallies. Yeah. Uh, and they may even be, you know, anytime somebody uploads a, a, a video with a song within it, this may count against, uh, this may count for your, your overall streams. Counts against the person who puts it on there, but it gives right. you the hit. Right, right. Uh, and you know, I think a lot of this is, I mean, if anybody that's been following what's going on, Leo Cohen became the guy for music at YouTube, mm. uh, probably last year, I think, or earlier this year, I can't remember. Uh, he left 300 Entertainment, which was the label that I think Young Thug and, you know that whole new age, new rap uh, came from. He left that label, went to YouTube, and he's kind of heading it over there now. He's you know trying to shape up YouTube to be, you know, seen as a music streaming service that does count towards Billboard. Billboard. What uh-huh. do you think about that? You think that's a good look for the for the new wave? I think it's a good look for all artists. You know, now they're gonna get even more hits where they weren't getting. Right. Know? So. I mean, it's good for the, it's good for the artists. Not necessarily good for all artists because yeah. some artists probably don't need that because they're going to get hits based off of, you know, someone not necessarily enjoying or liking what they're hearing, but showing someone like, man, this is garbage or something, and right, that, right. it's going to give them a hit still. So, well, yeah, I mean, but this is that's the same thing that can happen when you're listening to a song. Yeah, you know that what I'm ha- saying it does. And it still counts it as a happen. hit, right? Yeah. But uh, you know, like. I'm looking at the numbers for Cardi B's video recently. She's over like 200 and something million Just views it. on YouTube. And that's not, I don't, none of that's being added to nice. her yeah. overall. And she's number and one. She's already, she's already number one. So she's been imagine, number one for three weeks yeah. too. On top imagine of how much more, like, yeah. yeah, she's been three weeks. If she's going to be for however many more weeks, imagine what it would have been if that was all counted. Right. Good Lord. Right. So it's a, it's a new thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. Though. Well, it's we'll see what happens with it. You know, it's, it's kind of gonna, it's gonna it's gonna be like a test trial to begin well, with because nobody's gonna know how it's gonna play out, how well, it's gonna affect right, it, how's, how's, how's it's gonna, gonna do affect it, the rules and everything. Because yeah. the but, rules the rules are weird now with all these with, the, with these streaming. You know, before it's like yeah. you bought an album that counted as an album, so now they're like fifteen hundred streams of an album counts as uh, one album sale. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's a bunch of weird ass little rules and shit you know yeah. what I'm saying it's kind of hard to stipulations and shit for right, right 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 and you got people that's gonna like try to figure out a way to inflate the numbers and, oh yeah you know what I'm saying you know. YouTube cut that shit out a while ago cause there was there was a lot of artists that were using fake fake views to boost boost oh, yeah. them up mm-hmm. uh, and there was like a lot of big artists like Rihanna and, you know, a lot of people were caught up in that and YouTube found out the fake views and cut all those fake views out and they dropped down by like a lot. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so maybe YouTube is still smart enough to figure out like, you know, how to how to thwart that, man. But we shall see. We shall see. Your boy. Hmm. <laughs> your uh You're making me nervous. <laughs> His real name uh, might be Quincy. Schoolboy Q. Oh. Could be Quinn. I'm not, I don't even know that Q stands that's, for to be totally honest with you. He's my boy too. I fuck I fuck Q. Cool boy Q. Uh, recently, he was on his uh, he was on his Snapchat, I think, or his Instagram, and people were in his comments talking about why the fuck you listen to Lil Pump, which we're gonna review uh, later on in this uh, in this uh, in this podcast. Uh, but they were asking why you listen to Lil Pump, man. You cool boy Q. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And why you keep having him in the background? Right. Schoolboy Q had this to say. <laughs> Oh, Q, why you listening to Lil Pump? Because, bitch, I ain't fucking born like you. 
I don't listen to one style of music. Niggas always in my comments when I play Lil Pump. Nigga, I fuck with it. Look, my favorite rapper Nas, but if you think I just want to listen to that style of music all day, every day, you're a fucking idiot. And that's probably why you're in the same spot you've been stuck at. Because your mind ain't open to new shit and different shit, man. Stop judging people. I'm sick of niggas. Bro, you ain't got no achievements with the most opinions. Bro, like, you ain't got nothing, but you know everything. I'm trying to figure you niggas out. How about you just shut the fuck up and figure yourself out? All right, yeah, he sounds like he's a little, uh... Yeah, angry. <laughs> he sounds a little angry. <laughs> sounds like he's, like, basically, yeah. he's saying, fuck out of here. Right, right. Like, I'm going to do me, you do you. He likes it. You don't have to like it. Right. Well, he makes a good point, too, like... And you have to expand your shit. Right. Like, you yeah. know, I, I, I kind of feel like that's, that's you know, like, that's how I always been. Even when I was, like, rapping, like, real hard, I was always open to different styles. Listen and, to different genres. You know? Right, right, right. Listen to every, like, a lot of shit, and that's how you need to be. It you expands know? your musical, first of all. Intellect. It, it's, you know? it, yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. It really you, does. You think Outkast, listen, I remember watching, like, a little video or whatever, Big Boy from Outkast, back when he had the braid still. And huh. he was pulling out music that he listened to. One of the albums that he had in his 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 uh his little his little thing was 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 Slipknot. Okay, yeah. it was Slipknot. All right. I didn't, you know, at that time period, I was like, "What the fuck is he doing listening to Slipknot?" Like, you know what, what the I'm saying? Hell? But when you listen to Big Boy's then- music, it's it doesn't sound like it sounds like more uh, more, more musical style versus the normal rap guy. Exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because he's you know. Diversitized himself, if that's the word, you know, like he just first of all, your bonds, yeah, nigga. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. No, he, yeah, basically, he, he listened to a lot of uh, different genres, and by doing that, I mean, you're not stuck in a bubble, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, you're outside the box right. in a sense where everyone's expecting you to be in the box, like, oh, if you're a hip hop artist, you should just listen to hip hop, right? Right, which is that's nah. it's crazy, that's stupid, it's crazy. If you're a hip hop artist, grown up listening to a whole different type of genre, and you just got into hip hop at, at a later age, and then you ran with that, right? Everywhere you, every before, okay, so before. Rap was where it is now, where you have like all these people that sound the exact fucking same because yeah. they're all inspired by the same things because everybody's on the internet, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I get that that homogenized. See how it right? happened, yeah. right? But before that, there was coast. They had there was the South, and the South didn't sound like the East Coast. The East Coast didn't sound like the West Coast. The West Coast didn't sound like the Midwest. Everybody had like their, own, had stuff. their own sound. Even even in the South, you had Atlanta, which sounded different from, from Texas. Mississippi or Texas, Louisiana, or Louisiana, and even in Louisiana, New Orleans and Baton Rouge kind of sounded a little different. Yep, yep. Even in Texas, yeah. Dallas and Houston sounded yep. a little different. Exactly, yeah, yeah these all, their own little uh, variations. Right, right, and I and I felt like if you were a real artist, you'd yep. be able to find the good in everything. Yeah. Because everybody kind of has something to offer to the game to an extent. Yeah. Even like some of these whack, <laughs> even some of these whack artists, they offer like just there's something in there sometimes that you can take and pull and create something new. Mm-hmm. I think that's what, what Schoolboy Q's kind of trying to get at when he when he when he talks about that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't feel the same way. <laughs> no, I you, can see the eyes. You're like, nah, 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 <laughs> nah. Uh, I don't know. He. I, I I do I do uh, I understand what he's talking about. I do get it. Right. I do get what he's saying because yeah, I, be, I believe in that also. You do have to you have to diversify diversitize yourself. Diversify. diversify. Right. There you go. God, Lee, I can spit it out. <laughs> diversify. Diversi- yeah, that's a new word. It's another one. Hashtag it. Now Hashtag it. Diversify. <laughs> no, diversify. You know, you have to do that shit. You have to uh, you have to be open to all that type of shit. I mean, even like. Being an old older head, you have to you do have to listen to some of the new age because new age because you have to you know pick up on some of the shit that's going on now right. that you might not be in touch with you know because because you're old head you ain't over there what's you don't know what's going on with with, with the young generations so right right if you're trying to be in touch with it you have to kind of listen to it those, understand it those rappers that do that too usually end up having a longer. Career. I'm not saying every rapper has to do that because Nas. Nah, you don't I would to. fucking hate it if Nas started rapping like Migos. God, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not to say that I don't like Migos, but or whatever. But it's like, dog, you're Nas. Don't don't do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have to. No, no, he doesn't. He doesn't have to. But you do. You know, like it, at the same time, Nas is also. He's not. I don't say he's not current, but he's not really like 
in the forefront of of music right yeah. now. So yeah. he doesn't need to do anything. He just needs to be him and continue to be him yeah. for his fans and what we love from him, right? Exactly. But this new age, this new wave, if you're trying to be current, you're trying to be in the forefront. I'm sorry, dog, but you do got to pick up some of this, mm-hmm. some of this shit. You got to. You do. You got to. You do. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. You do. You do have to. Right. I get that. Right. Right. So you know. But I mean, it just. You know, his fans are probably just thinking like, "What the hell?" Because, because they're not as open minded, obviously, as the artist they're listening to is. You know what's real crazy? A lot, a lot of people. It's so weird because, like, for example, Kendrick did the song with Rich the Kid. Mm-hmm. I thought it was a great. I was like, "Oh, when I seen it that they were working in the studio together, I was like, why can't I? Why don't we see more of this more happening? Of this, yeah, yeah. Happening in hip hop? You know what I'm saying?" And, uh, you know, as you can see, Kendrick Kendrick isn't fucking with Rich the Kid because. You know, I don't think Kendrick thinks Rich the Kid is trash. He wouldn't if he thought you were trash. He wouldn't fuck, he wouldn't with, fuck you. with you, no. right? You know what I'm saying? So he'll there's think something that's gonna bring me down, basically. Right, so right, right. You'd have to look at it. Yeah, there's something that Rich the Kid offers that maybe somebody else isn't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So just pay attention. Yeah, you know? exactly. I mean, obviously, you know, the old heads just as much as we preach it to the young generation to 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 do their homework, the old heads do theirs too. You know, right? They're doing their homework on just. In in reverse, you know what I'm saying. Their homework's in reverse. They're going. They're learning about the new age. They they jam the new school so right. they can understand it better. Yeah. You know, and be in touch with it and actually possibly get those features because you know they they jammed enough of it to kind of pick up some shit. You know, and then kind of maybe have a beat, find a beat that's dope that sounds new age, and then try to find a new age artist to be featured. Give you a hook or something. You know what I'm saying? Just exactly. You know, that's you what. Know. Keep yourself current. You know what I exactly. mean? Exactly. <laughs> This weekend, respect your elders. Respect. Respect them. Respect your goddamn elders. You're damn right. <laughs> <laughs> your boy. That exhale was serious. Yeah, because this is, this is, this is, a, this is, you know what? Because, <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you why. Because your boy, Trippy Red, who we're also going to review later, uh, later yeah. as well. Uh-huh. Uh, he can't, he's got a, he's under a label. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't think it's his label. No, it's not his. It's not his label. Okay, it's under Universal Music Group. Right, right. No, yeah. but I mean, is he? Does right. he? Is that his label? It, it doesn't say that. It, it didn't say that it was his. It didn't say whose it was. It we should do more research on yeah. that. Sorry, guys. Uh, but he got a, he's got a label or he, that he's on in the yeah. Strange Entertainment, and it's spelled S T R A I N G E, uh, which is you know yeah. a little different variation of the word strange. Um, he's now dealing with a lawsuit from Tech Nine. Well, he's not. He just it's his label. It is his label because I know it's not his because they say that he's just an artist on it as well as a couple. Oh, okay, okay. So, so the label is yeah, the label not should be red. Yeah, not should be red. Excuse me for that. I don't yeah, want to get y'all the yeah, wrong. The yeah. wrong. Not Facts don't matter. Okay, this is the internet, Sharif. All right, we're not CNN. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying it's <laughs> not his. <laughs> no, no, I hear you. It doesn't belong to him. Nah, no, nah, really, nah, You're right nah. though. But it, yeah, it's it's the label that he's under, and he he. He's gonna. He's kind of, in a sense, being an artist under it. You're taking an L with your label. Well, by going for, the, for those of you I don't know, Strange Music is a label that is owned by Tech Nine and his partner since '99. For a long time, they've had Strange yeah. Music. Everybody knows them. Strange Music. That's his kind of label. They're currently putting out a lawsuit that's saying that Strange Entertainment is basically taking away from their likeness. And and I mean, be real, it does probably kind of confuse fans. They just, put, they just, you know they just added a letter. They just threw an I in there, right? Yeah. Right. All right. You know, in the, in the middle, so it, it that type of shit. That's the type of shit you see in movies when a movie's coming out, and then that low budget that has a similar name. Oh, we talked out. about that. Yeah. The, the yeah, Mockbusters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. We talked about that in an so, early podcast. So listen, did. y'all. So Mockbusters. We talked about this a, <laughs> a long like, time, ago. long time ago. Uh, Mockbusters. Over a year prior. You can go look this up. They even got it on Wikipedia. Mockbuster is when there's a blockbuster movie. Say, like for instance, Transformers. Right is out. And so the mockbusters come out with something that looks exactly like trans Transformers, and they call it something different. In this case, the mockbuster for Transformers was called Transmorphers, right? And so what happens? They they they're hoping that when you come in the store, you're like, oh yeah, it's the same thing. This is this is Transformers, right? And you just buy it, and you just bought a B or C movie of a variation of something that you yeah. actually were trying to go for. And these mockbusters do really well because people can't decipher the difference between. 
the two things, and that's what yep. Tech Nine is basically trying to say. Look, you yeah, brought that up. That's, that's a good, yeah, that's good correlation to what's yeah, going on there. Yeah, you know exactly what, I'm what I was thinking when I when I seen. It. I was like, it's kind of like that shit, right? Much. Right. Like, I mean, because yeah, I mean, they 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 they're basically cutting into maybe someone who heard about strange music. A fr- some a friend told somebody, you know, someone says, "Hey, man, you should go check out strange music. They got some dope music." Right. This other person that heard it goes looks it up and finds the other one, strange and entertainment, the one, and they go, yeah. "Strange entertainment sucks." No. And now people think Tech Nine sucks. No. Yeah. And this is all, feel, yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So this is this is this is I mean, you know, this is this is the part it's of under, it's like McDowell's. I it. <laughs> <laughs> McDowell's to McDonald's. To yeah. Yeah. Exactly. His, right. explana- his explanation was They perfect. have the golden arches. We have the golden, golden arcs. arcs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they have the Big Mac. We got the big mix, right? That's yeah. what you. That's that's, that's what, what, what Tech Nine is basically arguing, saying is yeah. going on yeah. with this. For those of y'all that are Trippy Red fans and yeah. hate Tech Nine or whatever, but this is why you need to respect your elders and also respect the music biz and understand the business behind things. And because that shit bites you in the ass, you right? Have to respect someone else, someone else's hard work. You know, some hard work they they built this this uh, you know enterprise. You know, their label up. You know, what I'm saying right. and. And then you do that shit, you're stepping on their toes. You are stepping on their toes. You know, it's like you're taking away from uh, possibilities of more fans for them that just accidentally run across yours first, and then they're just like, oh, strangers whack or whatever, compared to what someone else is trying to show them. But this is this is why you got to do your research and your history. You got to know your history. You got to know what's going on in hip hop because this is why I let out that long side at the beginning of this of this is because I think sometimes the new age forgets that. There was a shitload of people that came before you. You know what I'm saying? And all your ideas aren't original. You got to do your research. You got to, if you're going to come up with a label, you need to type in that label, like what you're trying to think of. You got to type it in already. Google search that shit and see right. if there's something already out there that has that name or that, you know, right. that, there's a, there's a tra- trademark. Listen, there's a U.S. patent and trademark office. It's a government agency, I guess you want to call it, you can do a trademark search yeah. on there to see what's what's trademarked. You can go and see and what class is trademarked in. This is getting to a little bit of a class right now. It is. It is, but, but people, <laughs> I'm not going to give you all the, but, but it's the truth though. This and you're, and you, and you, and you, you're creating your own label and right. shit like that or starting your own shit. Like you need, you need right. to know and these things. It's different because like his is like strange music and then there's a strange, strange entertainment. entertainment. Yeah. And yes, it's, it's spelled different, differently, yeah. and it is different to an extent. This is a, a lot of reasons why you see a lot of these companies, these tech companies out here, and you see them that they're like Flipper, and they take out the E, yeah, they, they take just, out an I or whatever. And it's, a lot of the reason is because there's already another company. There's already a company named that, and they just take, they take a couple of letters out to you're make like, it well, an entirely different yeah, company. I don't want to change what I thought of. I'm just going right. to change a few letters. <laughs> change a few just letters. It a little different, right? Or, yeah, yeah. And that's I why they do that, that guys. Yeah. yeah. So and, and then it's legal. It is. It is completely it is legal. legal. Yeah. So because you've changed it, you right? Know. But when it gets into the likeness of everything, too, you know, that's when. And then, that's when you can. See you thing, have argument. Yeah. People don't know is trademarks come in certain classes. So you can put a trademark for a company in clothing, but that trademark won't doesn't count for restaurants. So you can be like strange music, uh, clothing, right? But somebody else can own the the lab, the uh, trademark for strange music. Food, you yeah, see, what I'm trying to say, yeah, or a restaurant yeah, or whatever. Yeah, it's different trademarks. This exactly. is this is the reason why people like uh, like Maybach music, for example. Maybach is a company that does its own thing, but then that trademark as a music label. No, that's why he, uh, uh, Rick Ross is able to do that because yeah, he, just, right. he made it his own. You add that extra, it's yours, right? You know, it's not, but if Maybach not wanted to sue, you know, they have a legitimate, you know, they, they could, but they he could. probably owns a Maybach, so they kind of like, cool. they probably like, yeah, they're it's like, cool. cool. Yeah, he pushes the brand. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Things like that happen. I mean, right. deals like that happen yeah. behind the scenes, too. This is like rich ass white dudes. Like, no, I've no. heard all of the Maybach musics, one through five, and they're all fantastic. They're all, they're all in my Maybach <laughs> right now as we speak. <laughs> Your boy. No, wait, wait, wait. Your boys. <laughs> okay. Reiterate that. Your uh your Street Fighter rapper baby bizoys. Huh. Your baby bizoy and your grown man bizoy. But baby bizoy, I'm talking about Ski Master Some God. And um your grown man bizoy. Twister. Twister. Uh so those of y'all don't know, 88 Rising is a YouTube channel that um has hosted some pretty interesting videos, mainly from 
uh, Rich Chigger. Rich Chigger, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what the connection is with Rich Chigger. Uh, I gotta look into that. But, um, they basically put out a new, uh, visual <laughs> that was kind of like Street Fighter and it was basically the fast rap, uh, showdown. Yeah. Scheme Master Sump Guy versus Twister. Yeah, they set up there. They're on the scene like a Street Fighter. Got the bars. It's like a video game. Yeah, it looks, it just Eight puts bit. them on the scene. Yeah. 32 bit. Everything's like color. the game and then it just has them on the screen. Right, right, right. What did you, I mean, what did you think about was, this, man? It was like, it was dope, like how they had it set up. I was just, right. maybe, you know, as a person who likes gaming as well. Right. And like, it's kind of our era. Game. Yeah, my era also. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Our era. So it's like, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I liked seeing it like that, done like that. But, you know, being the first of its kind, you know what I'm saying? Basically seeing it like that, like, doing it more and more, it would get better. Right, right, right. right. I mean, it wasn't done the best. Yeah. You know? Right, right. But, well, I you know, see it was, what they, I can see what they're going with. Right, they, right. Did, they did it good. They did it really good. But it was really good. But yeah. you can, I can see it getting way better. Like right. if they kept doing it and they got a push behind it, they probably have line. been doing it before. I, you know, maybe I haven't done my, the push. Yeah, yeah this, maybe this is the push. But I think they should do definitely do more of these oh, and yeah. make these because it's almost kind of like a celebrity death match kind of thing. Oh. But it's really them on a microphone oh. rapping, and in the second round, you can see that twisted pretty much. Annihilate his ski mask. <laughs> go Mortal Kombat on him and say, finish him. No, yeah, really, yeah. He had him spinning all the way out the, off the planet. So, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he's spinning across the world and then out, out of this world. So do so. you think that Twister, cause he was kind of rapping a little fast. He wasn't going as, he wasn't going Twister who broke the Guinness Book of World Records fast. Nah. But he was going kind of, yeah, kind of fast. On the second verse, he, he went in. He did go in. He went in. What do you think about verse. ski mask though? He never went in <laughs> like that. He never like for a fast rap battle. Right. I expected faster from the competition right. against Twister. Yeah. You know they should have threw Ritz in there. Oh, if that's the case, that's Ooh. how I felt. That's how I felt watching. I was like, man, like honestly, I think Ritz would have. I think Ritz would have uh, won. I think he would have won, bro. Yeah. I think he would have well, won. No, no against honestly, Twister. I think Twister would have stepped up his game. You think he would have stepped up the game? It would have been a real. It would have been it a real fight. Real, a real battle. Like he's like finally. No, he was like, oh shit, this motherfucker. Finally, an, an a, form, a formidable opponent. <laughs> right. Uh, I can see that. I can see that. A formidable opponent. <laughs> Indeed. No. All right, I will take your soul. Nah, yeah. but uh, no, I thought it was. I thought it was dope idea. I, I, I appreciate eighty eight rising for for knocking that out. We needed that. You know what I'm saying? We need more yeah. of that, man. You know what I mean? Oh, it yeah. was funny. It was fun. It's hip hop. Hip hop. Twisted. You know, he let everybody know that he's a veteran. Oh, he he, he let people know. He's like, I still got this. Right. He's like, well, the first verse he was like, yeah. I was like, well, uh, okay. I think he was like, oh, I'm going against this guy. So he didn't really care. Yeah. That second verse he was like, let me let everybody know who I am. Well, because because his the uh, uh, ski mask second verse, he kind of he started going. It was almost like, hold up, before he finishes me, I need to. Or beats me. I keep saying Mortal Kombat shit. Right. But yeah. Before he beats me, you know what I'm saying? KOs me. I better hurry up and hit him with the KO. Right, right. And then he just kind of, he, he did that whole, it did like a, like a visual, like block type right, shit. Right, right. Force field type shit and everything flew y'all, against him. And y'all like, have to see this shit. And it was like y'all reverse have to see this shit. or some shit like, it was like some kind of reversal type shit. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he starts rapping. He just goes in and then it was like, that was the KO. I'm going to link this up in the show notes so it's y'all hilarious. can see it in, in the show notes for the podcast. Just go in the description. The link will be there. It's on YouTube. And I'm going to let y'all say so if y'all haven't seen it yet. It's like the YouTube videos where people are falling and stuff and they throw uh, uh, Street Fighter characters like kicking them or sliding across. Right, the right, right, people, right, like, right. It's like them doing it. <laughs> it's funny. But, yeah, yeah, it's like that. But, you know, Hip-hop. Reverse, reversal instead of it was, Mortal, uh, cause it was Street more... Fighter character in the human you know, in regular world, it's two rappers in the street fighter world right, within right. in the background. I got it. I, I, I yeah. love what the, what, what, the, what the, what the youth is doing out there on YouTube and just creating the content and everything. Yeah. It's, 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 it's dope, very man. interesting. Yeah. Right. Keep, keep got some skills. Shout, shout out to y'all. And keep doing it. Cause I want to see more and I want to see it get way better too. Cause I know y'all can do way better with, with, with some, some backing behind it. This weekend for the culture. Your boy. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't say grown man Bizoy because this, this thing is like. I'm not a baby. Like your grandfather Bizoy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a man. I'm no fucking baby. I'm <laughs> fucking man. Nah, uh, your boy, uh, Chuck D. Chuck Dizzle. Oh. Huh. <laughs> I wonder if anybody ever called Chuck D. Chuck Dizzle before. Chuck Dizzle. You think he'd be, he'd be mad if you called him that? 
Snoop, like, probably, yeah, Snoop probably did it. Don't call me fucking Chuck Dizzle. Snoop said it, and then Chuck yeah. D said, "Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Again. Don't do that. Call me Chuck D." Right. Uh, your boy Chuck D uh, is coming out with a hip hop history book. Uh, and he's gonna this. And we we talked a lot, we talk a lot about about this yeah. about. The youth not recognizing hip hop and yeah, the history yeah. and all this. Not doing the homework. Not doing the homework. Well, it's just this. He basically created this for you. It's the last like forty years of hip hop. All of the, the the role players and you know everything that's happened in hip hop. All the big moments in one book, man. What do you the think about his this? story in a book? Right. What do you think about finally, this? finally, finally? Thing. Like, because now it's it's at the fingertips instead of having to go research. Go get go get the book. Right. Go get the book, and he's laid it out for you. He gave you the manual of hip hop, probably. You know what I'm saying, like you, he says, it was everything in it till present day. Do you think he's included any of this of this mumble rap era in there? You probably stopped at that point. Nah, nah. <laughs> he said that's the present day, y'all. Now nah, right. y'all pick up from there. Right, right. Nah, I don't know. Like he may, he may include that if it's the present day. If it's literally to today, then right. they're gonna have some of them people. In there. They're gonna have mumble rap in there, right? Right, and it's a part of. The history now, so you know it has to be in there. It has <laughs> Shit, to, it's it gonna is. be in there. Fuck, it really is. It really is. It uh, really is. I have you have to you have to soak. You had to let that soak in. And be like, yeah. <laughs> Can I scrub it off? Listen, Can I scrub it off. Listen, I, I'm gonna be real. With you. I want to scrub off the auto tune era. I really do. Ooh, you are not lying. I want. There was a couple. High moments in the auto tune era, but for the most part, as a whole, that shit was, whole, it was, was like, a pretty disgusting wide. area to me. To me, it was oh, pretty yeah, disgusting. I agree. Area. Yeah, I agree. We could have done without that. Just like yeah. some of this mumble rap. As long as you don't, as long as if it picks up, if they start enunciating. Right, right. It could be good because they got good production. They got, I guess, they got backing. So you know, just stop mumbling. Right, right, right. But other than that, you know, Chuck D's gonna cover it all. And the youngsters get to learn their history, and any old head that don't know his history can can learn their history. Right, right. You know what I'm saying anybody can learn it, and hopefully, hopefully it goes in depth. Hopefully it ain't just like not not like not. It doesn't give you too too much. Hopefully it gives you all the information you need. I can spit it out. Right. Hopefully it gives you all the information you need. For all the topics he's putting out there, all the, right. the I really the want to see this shit and what's going to be in it because I'm a fan of hip hop, man. So motherfucker, just, got, motherfucker gotta be thick. <laughs> shit, that shit doesn't got to be like a, a like a like a Guinness book, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm interested. Yeah, like you said, being a fan of hip hop, it's it, it, it's it got this is dope, free. man. We getting a book, we get a history book, we getting a fucking museum, we getting two museums. We're living in a good era. At the end of the day, we got all these fucking movies, yeah, TV shows. Hip hop popping in these streets. Cardi B's number one. <laughs> Three weeks straight. Right, hip hop is popping in these streets. I don't know about y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, congrats to hip hop. Congrats to hip hop. Right. Congrats to the culture. <laughs> your boy. Uh, <laughs> your you heard him. You heard one song. You heard him. My bizoy. The weekend. <laughs> I'm wildin'. I know I'm wildin'. You heard one. You heard them all. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love, I'm wild on the weekend. Uh, he uh, linked up with Marvel, yeah, that's to right. drop a comic book, which is coming out early 2018. You being a comic book fan, you being a DC fan, uh, how do you feel about Marvel stepping into the hip hop and I guess R and B world now? You know, with the hip hop variant covers, and uh, what and the what fuck is DC Luke gonna Cage do about this and all that? You right, know, that, it's, it's just with the, it's just in it's there. Saturated with they're, they're doing it. Right, they're doing it. Like Marvel, has, Marvel's doing Marvel's it right. Embraced the, the hip hop culture, of course, and can't be mad at that. I'm not I, mad at I, that. I, pl- I applaud it. I, I'm happy. So you can't be mad. I, where the fuck is DC? <laughs> DC's focused on their movies, trying to get this right, shit right. Right, trying to get this shit popular. They're like, you know what? We ain't got time for that. We're trying to get this shit right because everyone's if mad they, at us. So yeah, we gotta they get can't, it right. They can't so. do it. They can't do a hip hop variant covers. Uh, I mean, uh, what name? this isn't the first time that Marvel. I think they did shit with uh, with Eminem. Eminem was in a comic book at one time. I think so. Uh, Charlamagne's got a comic book with yeah. There's with, been a few. It's, it's far from the first time. Right. They, this they, shit highlight me. I got a really dope ass comic book idea. Yeah, yeah, I really do. I got ideas. Okay, the truth be told, comic. Who's gonna be <laughs> the Medici family? Okay, and invest 
in in the Truth Be Told podcast. So we can get these ideas out here. But nah, it's straight up. It's you know, I think it's good. I guess it's good for for uh, nah. We'll see where it goes. I mean, because I mean, who knows? Yeah, I mean, is it really how 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 big is it going to be? How much is it going to sell? How good is it going to be written? What is it going to be about? Yeah, it's, it's called, called Star Boy, yeah. which is kind of one of his. I think it's his album name, yeah. Star Boy. What do you? Th- what, let me ask you this: Who do you, who would you like to see in the comic book? What which hip hop artist would you like to see in the comic book? That's a very good question. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no modesty. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, right. I know. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, who I'd like to see in a comic? Sh- straight up. I want to see like a uh, anime type comic with Lupe. Oh, that'll be cold blooded. That'll be cold blooded. Good one, huh? You like I, that? You like that? I like to. <laughs> you like that? Me like that. <laughs> uh, I like to. I like to see a comic book with uh with Big Crit. Huh? I like to see one with Big Crit. I, I think that would be dope. You know, like even with his Catalactica, he had kind of had like a story where he's like kind of like an alien that crashed into mainstream. Which is like the planet or whatever, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe that that would be like a dope a dope idea. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I like to see Kendrick in the comic. I was too. gonna you just took that right out of my mouth. I was about to say that shit. I was right. like, Kendrick would be a good second for me. Like, All right. anime though? Nah, nah. With him, I wouldn't want anime. All right? Nah, Kendrick, I just want a regular like animation cartoon. And I'm telling you, y'all can make one of That'd us. You see, cartoon, you seen our comic. cover. Yeah. We already got our cover animation going. Comic. All right, you seen the podcast cover. We're already there, baby. All right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you know we're there. We're already there, we're baby. Already animated. <laughs> we already animated. You know what I'm saying? But shout out, shout out to to, uh, to the weekend and shout out yeah. to Marvel, especially Marvel, just for stepping into to the culture and you know not doing anything that make people go Shh, get the fuck out of here. We're we're very cool, and, with and, and obviously not turning down ideas because I'm sure these people like the weekend probably came with the idea to Marvel, right? And Marvel embraced it, right? So. Hats off to him. For hats, real. hats off to him for real. More people need to do it too. Right. That's how I feel. Like, it, like if the weekend got his shit going, and other people. I mean, we got what uh, Migos coming, think, coming out with movies, you right? Know, right. Movies. So it's like, God damn, you got, so, you got, uh, ideas, you got what's his what's his face doing the anime move uh, show right now? Jaden, Jaden, yeah, Jaden Smith. Yeah. So I mean, people are venturing into different things like that, and it's good. It's good for the culture. Hip hop runs the shit, baby, for the culture. We taking over. <laughs> For artistic ignorance, we got to go ahead and give the crown once again to Big Crit. Once again, because we were because we were kind of behind. We put out the podcast. It's kind of a continuation. It is a continuation. It's like a part two. Yeah. Big Crit announced not too long after we did our last podcast that he was going to be doing a double, double fucking album. I mean, and remember, I was saying we needed we. I said it not so long ago we need a double double triple, albums, right? Like we need more of those. Big like, Crit. He was there. Uh, there. Twenty two tracks. Yeah. Love it. He has two covers, and they're both dope ass covers. Um, and I think it's going to be like a split down the middle of the good side of Crit and the bad side of Crit. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what I'm kind of getting at. Because you, one of the covers is like the hood nigga Crit with the grill in his mouth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which was a dope ass cover. Both covers. Both covers are dope uh, yeah. as hell. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? The other and, one is like the good, like. Yeah. See, like, so, almost, almost like a a, a painted uh, like those uh, glass. What are those? Uh, they call them. Um, what are they call it. Again? They're not murals, but you're talking about like the. Uh, I'm talking about like the windows. That the yeah, yeah, stained, the stained, stained, stained glass. Stained glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's what it, it is. Yeah, I can't remember. But like they would do it in the churches and shit. Yeah, like exactly. That. Yeah, it is kind of like that. That's what it remind me of. Right. Both of them remind me of that, but you know, the other one being more, you know, more. Uh, innocent looking, you know? right, 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 right. You know, you know, he's he's he hasn't dropped music in a while. You know, he yeah. he, he got I don't say dropped from the label, but that's pretty much what happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To an extent, um, or maybe it was just a mutual agreement Separated. that yeah, that yeah. we're just not gonna work out or whatever. I don't want to say drop from the label is too strong because yeah. I, I don't feel like we don't know the details. Cri- yeah, we don't really know the details because yeah. I don't feel like they had any issues. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I know Big Crit probably had like some issues as far as like. Trying to find himself mainstream wise. If there was, they did a hell of a job for keep, uh, keeping it in house, where you didn't right. hear to, you didn't hear shit like bad blood type shit happening. Right, right, right. So you know, I mean, if they if there was, they did it right. You know, right. it should always stay out the media type shit. But then we wouldn't get our hands on it. God. Right. Well, no, this is gonna be big crit 
independent, mm-hmm. doing his own thing, not really held down by label constraints. Yeah. Um, I was reading, I think on DJ Booth, they were talking about him rapping other people's beats. So I really want to hear how this album's going to sound. I'm really interested. Big Crit is one of my favorite artists. To me, he's one of the most slept on artists out there. Um, I don't think he really gets enough shine, enough credit. No, nah, he doesn't, man. I think he, I think he really should kind of be up there with Kendrick and and uh, and J Cole. I think he should, he should be in he there. Could be, he could be. In he's kind of overlooked to an extent. I mean, we in the South, we fucks a crit. Yeah, he could, he could be in that talk definitely. Yeah, I mean, he should be. He should be because of what he's done and how he does it. Is I he mean, top five for you? We had our top five talk. Well, we didn't have Crit in there, but you know Crit what? Crit wasn't in it for both of us. If he wasn't, and you know what? I think it is because Crit wasn't, he's not really out there. So he's he not really. Needed, yeah, we need more. We need more. And we need Crit, more backing Crizzle. behind it, too, to, so we get more. And, like, you know, like, you give him more of a backing and give him that, that you know what I'm saying, that push, you know, we're going to get more consistency and we'll probably get a lot even more better like I mean he's good he's great already so it's like he can I mean he needs that backing like without that backing he's stuck kind of like right now he's by himself so it's like it's good we're gonna see what happens somebody needs to sign quit to their fucking label cause yeah really though someone needs to pick him up but someone that is willing to really I mean but see it sucks because it's like who do you sign to right you can't sign to TDE because he's you can't sign to Dreamville you can't. You, you'd want. You'd want that, but right? You really. It's, he, it just you know, he needs to have like his own thing. I guess. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Something that he kind of holds, right? Like the keys to it. You know. Maybe like, Rock Nation. Uh huh. Rock Nation is getting some people, but you know, they got a little squad yeah, over there. They're getting, they're getting, they manage damn near all the artists out there. So I mean, why not? Yeah, they're getting, they're getting, they're getting squad. Right. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I, this week we will give we will give the artistic ignorance crown to Big Crit once again because. You know, even though he's been gone, he doesn't, you can tell just by like his rollout of everything and how he's pushing everything out there that he's putting, he's put a lot of thought into what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? So, shouts out to him because people aren't really putting out, putting thought into shit no more. Cue the applause. Cue the applause. Shout out to Big Quick. Shout out to Big Quick. Let's get into these motherfucking reviews. Who? These reviews. Your boy. The are we right? Oh, dread headed. Oh, hold up. Maybe what? Maybe he might be Lil Vert, <laughs> or maybe he might be Young Thug. Not really sure just yet. Your boy Trippy Red dropped his uh his album, Love Letter to You too. Um. I want to get. I want to hear. I want to hear your. I want to hear your uh, your thoughts on this because this is the. You know, like I say, Shreve is more. I bet Shreve is more of the old head. Old head gang. Uh, this isn't really a Shreve's alley, but I really want to hear what his thoughts are on this because Shreve has come around. And he says, you know, I like some of this new shit. What did you think about Trippy Red? He's kind of bubbling. He's kind of popping a little bit. He's kind of starting to, you know, get out there. What did you think about Trippy Red? I didn't necessarily like it all. I. A good amount of it. Right. That you didn't like. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, and not necessarily that I didn't like. It just wasn't for me. So it wasn't my shit. What was it? What What about it? What didn't you like about it? I, I wanted to hear more of his hip hop. So you want to hear him rap more? Yeah. I want to hear more of the rap than, you know, a mixture of both. He didn't have enough of a mixture in it. He also, honestly, listening to it. In my headphones, where it's like clear, really like in there, you can hear the bang and everything. It's the best way to hear it. Uh, some of the like the the I guess editing or production or something like not production of the beat, but just him engineering, engineering and the, of the, like mi- the mixing and right. all that shit. You know, mastering. I, I think could have been done better. I could hear right. parts where I was like, it sounded, it, it sounded bad, right? Like, and I was like, that didn't sound too good. If this is your supposed to be your quality shit, like an album, right, right, right. Be, so it was disappointing to hear it like that. Like if you're gonna put something out, at least make it quality. Edges. Yeah, clean those edges out. Right, um, right. You know, then like 
you know, get it right. And he, he didn't have it right and he put it out still to me. It's like, that, that took away from it for me also. I was like, I, honestly, there was a point where I was like, man, I don't even, do, do I want to hear the rest of this? Like, there was a part where I can't even remember what track it was, but it was that bad where it didn't sound that good. Like, you could have, you could have made it sound smoother. Right. So yours was more of just the quality of the music itself, not really, not. And when I say quality, you're talking about the actual sound. No, the sound, mm-hmm. but also, and at the same time, I mean, there was potential, right? But at the, it still wasn't. It wasn't for me. Like, wasn't for you. It wasn't for me. It really wasn't for me. Like, and not to not not to knock what he's doing, cause especially. I mean, he has a, he has a following. He has, he's he has, definitely has a growing following. Yeah, he right has grown. He, I can see where like. If I put myself in other people's shoes, like the new head or you know new age, right. you know I can see where people would like that because it fits into where people are you know are liking, and at the same time, uh, it's 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 somewhat unique. It, it is unique, like uh, how he's doing it. Like he, oh, it's somewhat unique, but at the same time, you kind of feel like you've heard it before. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, I can see what you're saying. Like. Um, yeah, and, and there's 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 kind of like some talks out there that he's biting this person and they're saying they're yeah. but him and I, you know I'm not I'm I don't I haven't followed him enough to know, to know yeah. wh- what came first and when when it came first. I'm not gonna see and try to find. Uh, yeah, and like I know this something. is the first time that I've taken a listen to Trippy Red. You yeah, know I gotta say this about this podcast. I'm listening to a lot of artists that I probably wouldn't listen to yeah. on a normal basis. Yeah, for real. Uh, but I am taking it in. I'm definitely studying it and see what's going on. Yeah. And um, you know I guess. This is, I mean, it's, it's love letters, so it does have more of a kind of R and B vibe. Yeah, you know what you're gonna get by hearing the title. But I mean, these 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 songs, I mean, it's still considered hip hop in today. So, you know, I would like to hear a little bit more just rapping and you know, yeah, uh, different things like that. But you know, maybe it's just, maybe I'm just I'm too old for it. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? saying? Maybe I'm just too old. All right, yeah, yeah. Uh, straight up. Yeah. But I mean, as far yeah. as as far as the beats, what do you think about the beats? They weren't that bad. They weren't. I, I wouldn't be like. I wouldn't say that. Like, it caught me off guard and blew my mind. You know, like it just. They were good. You know, it was good, and some of it wasn't. You know, there's some that was just like, meh. Like it was all right. Right, right. right. It wasn't like mind blowing. Yeah. You know, and I think that also takes away from the track itself, also. Right. Where maybe his the track could have been better. If it was, well, he's, he's a young dude. Place. I think he's, yeah. I think he's only eighteen or yeah. nineteen years old. He's a, know, he's he, a very young dude. He has room to grow. Definitely. Dude, would you take? Would you? Grow. Okay, let me ask you this: If you had to choose between him and Lil Yachty, who would you? Who would you? I'd go with him. You go with him. Oh, Lil Yachty. So I'll he's. Go over him. I'll go with him over Yachty. Okay. All right. What about him or uh, Lil Uzi Vert? I'd probably go with him over Lil Uzi Vert. Okay. All right. So there we go, people. Sharif said Trippy Red is better than Lil Uzi Vert. If not, they're they're, they're pretty even, maybe. Pretty Lil Uzi Vert. And there are definitely some times of, where I kind of hear something in my mind. I would say they're maybe. I would say they're more even. I, like I said, I don't know the history of that. So if, if anybody's listening to this and you feel like you need to fucking correct correct me on this shit, yeah. fucking correct me. Let me know because right, put me in the right direction of what I should be tuned into. Because I've seen a couple of videos like previously before that. Uh, I know he had like a whole little thing going on academics and all that. Yeah. Uh, but... You know, I haven't. It might not, it, not to cut you off, but it might not be uh, uh, jocking like or biting. It could right. be just he took inspiration. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, listen, I, I don't care what nobody says, but everybody to me in this in this new wave, for the most part, they all kind of sound, sound the same, similar. Like yeah. when I'm listening to this album, I'm like, all right, is it Young Thug. Louisy Vert and I listen to Louisy Vert and I'm hearing like Young Thug, yeah. Amigo, you know what I'm trying to say? It's like it's yeah. all kind of mixed in together. And I'm pretty good at deciphering mm-hmm. the differences in things. You know what I'm saying? And I don't really see the difference between this and a lot of other oh, things. Oh yeah, it's it's all saturated with the same shit. Right. It really is. But what do you give this on a scale of one to ten? Oh man. Yeah, that's right. The verdict is coming. <laughs> Off of like me or what? right, yeah. it's a thirty-two-year-old uh, listening to an eighteen-year-old rap up-and-comer. Is album for the first time. What do you give this on a scale of one to ten? Uh, give it the six. The six? Yeah. Yeah, I think it. it I think that's being. I think that's being nice. <laughs> 
could have, I think it could have been 5.5. 5.5? What's going to give it? It could have been. It could have been 5.5. I don't know. It's like, it's, it's. I mean, what you, what you feel in your heart, man? What you feel in your heart? You feel, you feel like it should be lower? Yeah, yeah. I give, give, I give him the double five. Double five? The 5.5? 5. 5. 5. Okay. Yeah. All right. I can see that. I he gotta work, he gotta work on, like, you gotta work like on, on the production. Just, if you're gonna release it, make sure it's ready. Right. Like, that, it, that disappointed me just to hear it. Just the, the sound. was a little, just, it, it wasn't right. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't, like I didn't listen to it in my earplugs. I listened to it on my, on my, uh, on my speaker. Yeah. And, uh, it, to me, it sounded, it sounded okay. I didn't say, I won't say it sounded exquisite, but it sounded okay on the speaker. Uh, I would. I'm gonna go with go with the five. That's that was my number on this. I give it yeah, a five. Yeah. Uh, I do think you're, you're right. It just got to be smoothed out a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, I don't know. I feel like he should kind of try to try different different things. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Try some. But he, like I said, he's eight, he's 18, man. But you know what I'm saying? So he has room to kind of like figure that out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But and if he has a following, you know, and they're probably gonna back him up anyway. So he he has the time and if. And they're not that following probably won't go nowhere. So he's gonna he has time to grow, and they'll grow with him, you know. And if right. they'll stick around because they like what they hear, they'll stick around. If not, right? I mean, if you're a fan, stay a fan. You know? stay don't, man. Don't, don't let us deter you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? saying oh, don't listen to him. But at the not. same time, we're not gonna sit here and act like that we're that we know that everything about his music yeah. and that that just drew us in because I like we listen to a lot of the new age shit. Yeah, I mean, last week we, we listened to A Book with the hoodie, and we gave him like what a nine, nine. Yeah. right? So. Yeah. I mean, that's quality new age shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference right there. Right. So, you know, that's, you know, that's my take. We, we give it a five. All right, you give it a 5.5. 5.5, five. Five five, yeah. Right. <laughs> your boy. <laughs> Why are you sipping your beer? Uh, your boy. Uh, royalty, Nick. Royalty. <laughs> royalty, royalty, royalty. <laughs> With the with the with the dreadlocks, n- another dreadlocks. Oh, dreadhead! Come I think on. he had. I think he got different colors. <laughs> Sporting different colors. Yeah. Uh, two chains. Use them as a punchline. Little pump. Little pump dropped this mixtape or album called Little Pump. Mm-hmm. Self titled. Um. This is another new age rapper that's out here that's that's kind of starting to build his, his buzz up, uh, and I got I got a couple questions. Maybe you can help me out with this, but um, maybe I can. Yeah, well, because I don't know. So, so I, when I look at Lil Pump, I don't know if he's white. I was I, that's what I, is he that's white? What I'm literally looking up. No, right I now. just listen. I looked this up too, up. and Ty people, took the day off, so I got to look it up Ty, myself. Listen, <laughs> we've been having some issues with Ty lately. That's Ty, Ty hasn't been showing up. Yeah. fucking asshole. We pay you four dollars an hour, and this is how you repay us. We may need a new a Jesus new Tom. Christ, right? Yeah. Who wants to be a new Ty? To holler at us. Um, I'm gonna hit your boys. No, I, I don't know if he's white, but here's the thing: he says nigga a lot in the music, and I need to figure this out right now. Is Lil Pump white or is he mixed? Or or does he just is he white? He just doesn't give a fuck. Cause he looks like he's white. Looks like he's white or Hispanic. Or is he Hispanic or something? Not. I mean, I couldn't find too much about him. Why is this shit in Spanish? <laughs> it's probably it's, it's probably is Spanish. But regardless of that, um, I guess why are you checking that out, man? No. What? I guess my initial take on this was. Um, <clears throat> Look, you know, Hispanic. He's Hispanic. He is Hispanic. Okay, that's okay. Was, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Right. Like, not to say that it's okay for an Hispanic to say to say. I know some people don't don't like that, but you know, it, it does take away from the. You know, I thought he was white. I was like, what the fuck, dog? This motherfucker is really white. Hey, it, white happens, it happens to me. It's right. My, that's my story. Right, right, <laughs> right. Because right, right. the is Hispanic too, but yeah. Um, uh, Lil Pump. He's he's uh he's been kind of he's like I said he's gonna come up. He's been dropping a lot of videos, doing a lot of music. I think he's linked up with Smoke Perp. Or yeah, yeah. does a lot of, does a lot with him. Um This is my first time listening to a full project from Lil Pump. I probably wouldn't have listened to it if I wasn't reviewing it for this podcast, to be honest with you. Yeah. Off top, it wouldn't have been one of my choice, but I did I listen agree. to it. I agree. And uh so I, I gotta I gotta say some of it is catchy. Some of it is actually catchy. It is. Some of the beats on here bang pretty hard too. Yeah. It's, it oh, was actually yeah, some some hard bangers. Some hard bangers. I will say that it was a little bit better than uh, it was better than I thought it was going to be. I was expecting it to be a lot worse. Uh, Touche. 
I'll you say can. that. I'll just be honest. You um can. There are definitely some tracks on there that when I first heard the first time I was like, "This is some bullshit." But I listened to it in this on this mixtape or whatever, and I, you know, I like I like the Gucci Gang song. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. I like the song uh, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. I don't know why I like this shit. It's fucking catchy. It's infectious. Sue me. I don't give a fuck. Fuck all y'all. All right. <laughs> it's, you know what I'm saying? Say, fuck off if you don't agree. Right, no. right, right. Uh, but you know, some of the I will say this though, some of the songs that are on here are. He does get repetitive in some of his content. He's not really, I mean, he's a young dude, so he sounds like a young dude that's rapping. Like, it sounds, he sounds like if you were with your homies and y'all are rapping in the fucking, in the fucking apartment and y'all are just freestyling rapping no. about wild shit. He kind of sounds like that dude. How, you know what I'm how saying? How many rappers are out there with braces too? Has he got braces? Yeah. I mean, he's, it look like, it look like braces. He's a young guy on the come up, man. He's out here making money too, though. Hey, I mean, shit. Putting off with the braces too. Yeah, there's a lot of drug references in here too. Yeah, like when he was talking about doing cocaine on the boat. No, he did. Yeah, he he was yeah. talking about he, he got a he had a he had a stroke at one point. <laughs> at one point, listen to this album. Yeah, yeah. at one point, listen to like, this damn, album. He's lit. I was thinking. I mean, from the beginning, I was saying I was like, this was giving too much information. Right. I was like, he's talking too much information. I was like, the feds gonna be hearing this shit. Right, right. Like, he needs to watch what he's talking about. Right, right, right. Because right. like some of the things he's saying, I was like, if he's really doing that. All eyes are on him now. Right, right, right. People are going to look into it by you saying. Well, there is talks that he ain't. There is talks that his album may go number one this upcoming week. Really, it's it's, to dethrone Cardi B. Well, Cardi B's song is number one. Oh, yeah, his album, album, or yeah, it might go number one in the country. There's a strong possibility for that. I like I like his features. He had some strong features. He did. He had two chains. He had Chief Keef. Chief Keef was on there. Gucci Mane. Gucci Mane. Yeah. People, pretty much everybody that probably influenced him in his style. He actually had a little yachty also. He did have a little yachty on there. A little yachty actually wasn't as bad as he actually was on his album on here. <laughs> I, that's just to be honest. We thought he can't catch a album. break. A little yachty nah, can't he, catch he, a break. He, but I mean, he you're he trying to say he better. did good. No, on he, here. he did good on here compared to what he did. I mean, it wasn't bad. Right, it wasn't bad. It was, Moving that direction is what I'm th- is what we were telling him when we did his uh when he did his review right it's right like right moving that and he it seems like he might be moving in a better direction so right 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 might, he's not there yet but he's moving in that direction so I was happy about that. listen when he first well, I'm gonna be real with you when Lil Pump first started coming out and I would see like little clips of, you know stuff on the internet you know what I'm saying people covering and whatnot I was like go what the fuck. You know what I'm saying? I was like, not another one. You know what I mean? But Again? I think there's, I think there's a little bit something. There's a little something more there with Lil Pump. Oh, there's, there's, you know what I'm I think there's room for Lil Pump. Yeah, I really do. I Which is strange room. for me to say this shit, but I, 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 I never thought that I would be like, yeah, he might, he he could probably do something. I looked at the cover and I was, it was, I, I judged it. <laughs> I, I fucking judged it. Sue, sue me. All right, I judged it. At first, I was just like, oh god. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was like, I was okay, like, shit. Come on. Yeah, I know. I got I here. Was we like, go. He was like, "What did you uh, give me?" <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Thanks, thanks, you, you." What are you going to give me into? Thanks, Barry Ross. Right, right, right. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Big. But guess what? Oh, I wasn't mad at you. It wasn't that bad, man. It, it was some that shit that bang. It was some shit that kind of you know, it, you know, it had a couple. I would say all in all, man, it was like, well, how many tracks was on here? Like fourteen, fifteen. Something like that. Something like that. I'd say a good maybe 15, 15 of them. 15. I would say out of the 15, there's yeah, probably yeah, like. Yeah, Rick Ross on the last one. Rick Ross was Rick on it. Rick Ross is on That's right. That's right. He that's was the, on that. That was like the, the highlight at the end. Right, like, right. <laughs> grand finale. Right, right. I'd say probably the. Oh. <laughs> I'd say probably maybe five or six of those tracks I could probably fuck with. Like on a, on a, on a regular. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Line. Yeah. Yeah, Which like, is more than I expected because I expected this whole thing to be completely trash. It's about half the album. You no disrespect to Lil Pump and no. what he's got going on, but I just expected a lot less. And he kind of, he kind of, he kind of changed my changed my view on him a little bit. Yeah. yeah, I think honestly, like I think he could work on some of his choruses, like like right. Like they're very basic. Up, they're, yeah, yeah. I think right. he could keep some basic ones. Right. You don't have to go full blown everyone be intricate or right, you know, right. very detailed or fucking wordplay you don't have to go all like that or just simplify because I feel like the, the, like the Gucci Gang hook is very simple yeah that one can stay yeah, I kind of like the Gucci Gang yeah that one I think can stay that's, that's what I'm saying you can have some that <laughs> yeah. one, don't, don't touch but there's that. other ones where he's, he's it's like he's trying to be a little intricate but it's like no no don't yeah. you don't that's not where you need to go just fucking just be Simple. Well, I think I think I think he could use uh uh I don't know 
maybe uh, like on the feature. Well, when he has a feature, right. use the, have them do the hook. A Post Malone or something. Yeah. yeah. You know, have have the feature do the hook. You know, type he, shit. He has yeah. he has potential to make some like some street or club bangers. He has like potential. You know what I'm saying? I will say that. Yeah, he does. Yeah. I could see like if a label signed him, I could see why. Because he could he could do some numbers. No. You know what I'm saying? What'd you, what'd, what'd you, are you, you going to ask yeah, me first? Oh, shit. Like, what'd you, what'd you, what'd you it's real me? out here. Because I, ha- I, ha- I have my number already. Uh, I'll write it down if you want me to. I'm going <laughs> to go ahead and uh, a scale of 1 to 10. Being this is my first time listening to Lil Pump. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go to give this a 6 and a half. Mm. Six and a half. I'm going to give it a 6 and a half. Uh, I, I, you know, like I said, there's definitely some songs in here that's kind of repetitive. And yeah. then they, they kind of get, you know. Just kind of just gargled up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, all right, we don't need that. We don't need no. that. We don't need that. But there's definitely some other tracks on here that are bangers that are done like pretty well. Yeah. So yeah, I give it six and a half. Six and a half out of ten. I gave it a seven. Seven. Yeah. Okay. I gave right. it a seven. All right. We're right there, like it's like point five away. Like, right, right, right. Yeah, right there in the ballpark. But, yeah, but it's that's how I felt. Like same thing. It's like he needs a little to work on them, like choruses and like. uh you know the production was good. He had some some bangers. You know what I'm saying that helped to me also. Like it, like it was it was good. Like right. on, on that aspect. But I mean, he's he has room to grow. Like lyrically, if he if he's in a not necessarily. I ain't saying he's gonna be a lyricist, but I'm just saying like step up a little bit with the bars. You know, and but he definitely caught me off guard too. I was I was expecting. Like to to give some to, to give some lows, you know, right. for some of, some of these reviews. Yeah, I know some people are probably listening and like, really, really, Dang. you really listen. Uh, not everything has to be like these well woven lyrical, uh, you know, complex bars. Nah, but I do feel like there's some songs that just need to be just for fun, just shooting the shit. Yeah. And he, and some of those songs he makes those songs and some of those songs are actually pretty good. That's just how I see it. Some of the ride to him just a good vibe. Just, to, just right. to, I don't know if I could listen to a whole album of him, but if like a song came on, I'd be like, all right, cool, I fucks with this. Yeah, like it was just you know, if it was one of them jams that that, that went hard. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, definitely. So shout out to Lil Pump. You did you you you, you impressed us a little bit. Yeah, you exceeded our expectations so a little I, bit. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> a little bit. So I I I can, I can imagine that you might be able to uh, step it up, step it up, and. Uh, yeah, man, yeah. step it up, man. Make 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 us all uh, eat our words. Yeah, make us believers. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy. Uh-huh. He's named after a, a body part. Also, a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Belly. I would say also of the beast. Right. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Belly. Of the beast. No. Uh, Your yeah. boy Belly, who comes out of Canada. Yeah. I think, I'm not, if I'm not sure, he's, he's affiliated with Drake in some way. Any of a rock nation? I'm, I think he might be. We might have to look he, it up. I, I, no, I believe that's what I saw. Yeah, you, you might be right. So, uh, Belly, if y'all don't know, Belly's been in the game for a long time. He's been in the game for a long, long time. And... He's Rock uh, he's Rock Nation. Okay, yes, word. Shout Rock out to Nation. Belly. Shout out to Belly. Rock uh, Nation. Belly. Um, he, like I said, he's been in the game for a long time, and he's kind of overlooked too. But I don't think that he's. I think he's cool. I think he's cool with his trajectory. I think he probably wants to be bigger and all that. But I think he's cool with his position, if that makes sense. I know not cool in the sense of that he's settling, right? Well, I'm sure he's going to be in a Rock Nation. Yeah, I mean, he's a right nation. I mean, what the fuck? You, yeah. know, you can't really count, count that. But I'm going to be real with you. Drake kind of put Canada in a, in a bad light for me. Not not too bad, but, you know, I was just like, damn, where's where's the, where's the the hard rap lyrical shit? And I feel like Belly. He found it. Belly was like, I'm right here. Uh, hello. Hey, I've been here this whole time, bitch. I was raising my hand and you weren't <laughs> looking at me. Right. This whole fucking time teacher thinks. <laughs> thinks. Nobody called on me. Uh, Belly impressed. Um, I'm impressed too. I was impressed Im- by this project. Impressed. I was, I was like, this is this is real rap right here. That's the real raw rap. Yeah, I feel like I haven't heard this kind of rap in a while. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you hear like even with Kendrick, right? Like Kendrick has like this kind of new like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This was Belly was like kind of like a like like a solid like rapper that got bars and he has wordplay. 
You know what I'm saying? He's right, right. He still, you know, still has the hunger. I mean, still has the hunger. Yeah, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> <laughs> belly. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah, I, this get, was, this was a good this was a good project. Yeah. And what, what was real crazy about it was he called this project mumble rap. So yeah. if you've never heard Belly before and yeah. you've seen his title, you're like, fuck that. No, I hate this you're wrong. You, you, you're absolutely wrong. I'm right. going to tell you why. Right. Because before you sent me which what we're going to be reviewing, right? I had already listened to some of that based off of him saying it's called mumble rap. Really? Before, yes. Really? Yes. Why? Why? Because you're you're like anti mumble rap. Yeah. Oh yes, because I didn't. But you've been telling I didn't me. believe it. So you knew it was some bullshit. I, I had I, I I had no idea that it was bullshit, but I just felt like I don't believe someone's gonna be that specific, bold? that bold. Right. Mumble rap. That's my all because I mumble rap, and I was just thinking that's genius <laughs> in my head. And that you see, you're thinking it was like, nah, you know what I'm I was like, I thought it was genius because it did exactly what I did. Yeah. It did to me like it made me go so you feel like it worked on you I think it worked so listen Belly if you're Rock listening right Nation now worked that right if so they did that okay okay so Belly if you're listening right now whatever plan that you had to make people listen it worked on on Reefa it worked that, on that it did right because I mean because I, I had already listened to a few tracks already before you sent that that's it that. so this I is but well, like, you hadn't listened to Belly before I listened that. to never before that and I listened to Mumble Rap first. That was the track I listened to. And you to were first. like, yo, I kinda fucks this. Oh yeah. So he's got some so he's got some hot ass tracks on here. And it like his wordplay is is he's got some dope wordplay. Clean. He has he, yeah, yeah. he he has like uh lines in here that like you know, you kinda think about it. And this they're real slick. Yeah, like slick with bars. the um, like when he says, um Oh man, he says some shit. Uh something about the getting the getting the says trying to get the bread, uh but I got a loaf. Yeah, now let's, yeah, now let's yeah, make a yeah. toast. Yeah, yeah. Right. He had little had bars like that. Sport. Yeah, he had some bars. He got he bars. Some bar. He had some sneaky bars. Some definitely. real sneaky bars. You're not paying attention because you can say you can catch the bread and you say I was you know I was getting bread. Now I got the loaf and you can you can leave it at that. But for him to say now let's make a toast, just adds to the whole yeah. the whole bar. He just kept it going. I thought it was I thought it was dope. Yeah, I thought it was dope. I thought it was well put together. I thought the the production production was nice. Uh. uh what is it? Uh, Boy Wonder. Boy, Boy Wonder is definitely Boy Wonder, no. Boy Wonder was the whole production. Oh, he did the whole thing. The whole production. Oh shit! Yes, and and uh, I mean, yeah, he's right he's on the title. It's right under him, which is kind of crazy yeah. because Boy Wonder started off doing a lot of Drake shit. Yeah. As you can see, Boy Wonder isn't really like popping like 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 he was. But these beats are dope. But these beats are dope. It's like, yo, what? I, I'm kind of wondering. I wonder if Belly be writing the lyrics for Drake. I mean, those, maybe he should. Those are bars. Those <laughs> bars. He has some bars, bro. Right, like, right. I mean, the Pusha T came on it. Like that's the only feature. That is the only, only feature. But that was that was a hot ass feature. And that was a, man. Pusha T killed that shit. That right. track was hot. Right. I mean, but I like I like a lot of these songs. I li- I like the um the. To me, it's a playthrough. It's definitely a playthrough. To me, to it's me, definitely to a playthrough. Be honest, I believe it's a playthrough. It's a from front to back. Like I like the mumble rap them. song. I like the the come down the is Pirates with too. hard. I like lullaby. <laughs> P O P. The, the <laughs> word yeah. play, the way right. he put together the chorus and all that shit. I was right. like, dope. All right, right. The Bobby Brown track was hot. Bobby Brown track was really hot. This was this was a dope ass project Make from a from toast. Yeah, you know, like, oh. the intro. It was dope. Yeah, dope album. Front to uh, back. Let's get let's get into the let's get to into the rate right, to, to, to the number. Let's get into the deets. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, on a scale of one to ten, what you get this on a scale of one to ten, bro? What do I give this? To be honest with you, I was highly impressed. I think Rock Nation did a hell of a job. Knew what they were doing when they scooped them up. I think they did a hell of a job naming it Mumble Rap. I actually gave this a nine and a half. Woo! I was that that fool has some bars Woo! to me, and I was digging it. Okay, 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 okay. And I was I was very happy. I heard this first. I right. listened to this album first, even after hearing the tune. And once you told me. 
I started with this knowing it was going to be the best, the, the best one. Yeah, yeah. In my eyes, I knew it was going to be the best one out of these three too. And but I, st- I usually keep the best for last, right? But I actually went backwards on this one. I went with that, knowing I was going to uh, not not be as happy hearing the next ones, right? And I think it actually helped with my ratings as well like like hearing the better one first right know? right so then you can actually scale so you can it. see like yo this it. is real rap this Here's is the standard right this is standard right and, then, and out of these three he's definitely way above when we trippy red and, and Lil pump of course Bella way is above. way above he don't um, rap like new age no, he from. don't. But he, you know, he doesn't. He doesn't sound like some old ass. But he don't either. sound old head, right? Yeah, he don't sound. I mean, he got bars that like, 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 like are are. Just, I, I fucking, I fucking love this, love this shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, all right, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Fresh. Yeah. If I was, if like, if I was still rapping, I don't rap really anymore. That's, that's like hearing his bars was was motivated. It, it was inspiration. I was like, all right. Yes. And there was a part where I was like, I bet you I come up with better parts than that. You know what I'm saying? It maybe it, it kind of opened my head to start thinking of some bars. <laughs> right, I was you know thinking of bars too. Thinking of bars here and, and there. I was like, shit. man, I was like, that shit. I could say, he didn't say it like this. I could say it like this. Right, right, right. Oh, it like oh, up my mind. Right, right. kind of like hold up. Like, so, cool. Belly is a rapper's rapper. He is. He's a rapper's rapper. Straight up. And what yeah. did you? And what did you give it? Uh my number uh, was a little bit lower. Mine was a nine. Uh, the only reason I gave it a nine and not a nine and a half or a ten, uh, there were there were a couple of um, of hooks that I feel like could have been better. Just a couple in there, you know what I'm saying? I'm nitpicking just so you know. Yeah, because uh, so you can always you can always spare a few that are like eh, like, well, like I mean, more mediocre, like not right. too. Because there's different tracks on here that are like impressive. Yeah, you know, like the one where he's talking about the chick. And the breakup and or whatever and how he, he he can't really look at that as like a as like a loss because uh you know he he learned from it or yeah whatever. yeah exactly uh, oh he, he he dropped some knowledge he definitely did right right you know he's out here like just hustling man he's out here grinding and uh you know I can tell by just how you know how he, you can tell he's he worked he's working yeah. his way it's he's really grinding yeah. you know what I'm saying I, I can I can see where you get the nine though. Right, right, right. It's, it's, but I mean, you know, I, I like it. I, you know, every single one we were five off. Yeah, I know point five off. No, right. I was five above you on each one. <laughs> on all of them. All right. It's the same, it's the same. We're area. in the same vicinity. Yeah, you know what same, I'm saying? Exactly. With it. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a good project, y'all. For those of y'all that, that never listened to Belly. Check them out. Definitely check it out. It's a good, it's a good project. No. Yeah. Shouts out to Belly. Shouts out to Rock Nation. Um, I want. I, I gotta go listen to more of his stuff because I listen to him in, in bits and pieces. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I hear this, I hear that. I haven't really listened to a full project yeah. before. This is my first one. I, like I said, it's not that I didn't want to listen, but I never really honestly. Honestly, and I'm, I'm kind of upset that I didn't really listen to more of his projects sooner. I want to hear his last album because it's called Inzambia. Right, and it's with Rock Nation. Also, it's from last year. Right, like I want to hear that shit because you know I'm a zombie. I've guy. never heard anything bad about Bill. I've always no. heard. I've always heard. Uh, oh, that shit was dope. dope. Yeah, I've, dope. I've always heard good, uh, good, good from about Belly. Look at those features. Oh shit, Jadakiss. Oh, that feature. <laughs> they got a Shanti on there. What? Shit, the fuck? I ain't heard yeah. Shanti in a minute. Shout out to yeah. Belly. We got, we got, I gotta go fuck with Belly, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm over here sounding watch because I haven't really been keeping up with Belly. I know he's got like a fan base there and they're like diehard Belly fans. It's not a huge, huge fan base, but he's got a, a strong little fan base there that they probably listen to this and they're like, these fucking guys, I'm the fuck talking about. I was listen, highly impressed. We're, we're impressed, okay? What else do you fucking want? I was sleeping on him <laughs> if, he, if he's been out for a minute, which I guess he he's has. He's been out for a minute. So, Let me tell you how long sleeping. he's been out. I'm gonna tell you how long he's I been think out. I've heard of him, but I just never heard He's of been him. out for, he's been out since I remember when, so, fucking, uh, Drake did the comeback season mixtape. Was mixtape Drake? It was with DJ Smalls. Yeah. I was fucking, when I was rapping, okay, one of my homeboys who was Korean was like, I was like, dog, I should do a mixtape with a DJ. He was like, you should do one with DJ Smalls. I did the first one with Smalls. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if this is before or after, but yeah. I remember DJ Smalls kind of doing like, I don't say like a rollout, but he was like, look, 
I found the first Canadian, Drake. You seen him pop off, and I got the new one. You know what I'm saying? Like, he kind of, like, used the cosine of the Drake. Like, he was there with Drake from the beginning. Yeah. And he was pushing out Belly. That was the first time that I heard of Belly. Yeah, yeah. This was a long... This is... This is... I don't want to say super long, but at least, like, 08, 09, 2010 in that realm is when I first heard of Belly. And I didn't listen to him then. Or maybe I did, but I wasn't really feeling him at that time. You know what I'm saying? But I like what Belly's doing now. And that's just the truth. So shout out to Belly. Truth be told. Right. Now, honestly, the, the, there's some artistic ignorance within that album. That's how Definitely. I felt about it. Definitely. That's how I felt about it. When I was hearing it, I was like, you got some artistic ignorance in there. You know what I'm saying? It's not full blown artistic ignorance, but it is in there. We definitely we should we know what we should do. Huh. At the end of the year, we should do a list of the top ten best lyricists hmm. of albums that we reviewed from the year 2017. Yeah, we do our homework. So we really well, we'll we'll do it based off ones we review. So okay, yeah. So anybody that's like you didn't add so and so, I'm like shut the fuck up. We didn't review them. We didn't review them, asshole. Obviously, you didn't hear the regulations. All right. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Oh man, but yes, man, we're gonna get up out of here, man. We are at the end of the podcast, episode eighty six. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Make sure you um support us at trailmag.com slash Patreon. That's P A T R E O N. Yes, sir. Uh Trailmag.com is back up. I gotta start updating again. So brand new look out. Brand new look. Uh, hit us up, let you know, let us know what you think about it. It may be a little glitchy because it's still kind of new. I'm still working out the kinks on it. Oh yeah, but it's still it's it's in it's in pretty good condition. Shout out to the trillions. Shout out to the trillions out there. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. iTunes, uh, Google Play, YouTube. All the links are in the Stay show sure. notes that you can follow us everywhere. Everywhere. All right. Make sure you go like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Ben Trailmatic. All right. Shout, shout out to uh, old dude who wrote an article on us. Oh, yeah. He wrote a little article on us. Yeah. Shout out to old dude. Shout out to him. I'm going to link that up in the show notes too. Yeah. You see that? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because we got popping. We popping. Yeah. Shout streets. out to him. Yeah, shout out. We out here getting this. We out here. We just got to wait for Nathan Shooter at this point, man. Yeah, for real. I'm going to go hit him up. I'm going to hit him up this week, man. Be like, yo, yes, what's sir. up? Where the podcast at, baby? Where it at? Yeah, we're going we gonna to upload that for y'all too, man. So. Yes, sir. But shout out to everybody, man. We're going to be about this thing. No, see. No, I'm talking about deuces. Chill. Thanks for listening to the Truth Be Told podcast. Be sure to subscribe and log on to Chillmatic.com for the latest in underground music, film, fashion, and more.